bear with me a second guys all right so like the apparently you know they make patches for the game or whatever and they're supposed to fix shit right and they don't we get it it's mad it's mad season it happens every patch they make breaks the game further and further so what we're gonna do it for you guys today is we're gonna show you how to avoid the bullshit i'm not gonna do it in practice mode i'm gonna go straight into a game and show you what we do now you're gonna be limited as far as um you know certain things you'll be able to do but for the most part it's not gonna kill you too bad you should still be able to play your game but it'll save you from making those dumb turnovers that the game just kind of is like yeah here you go so we're gonna fix that we're gonna see if we can kind of make it go a little bit smoother for us This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Century Link Field in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when they're seeing Great, we're on offense first. Now, I, I don't like being on offense first, but get set to do battle for the sake of what I'm about to show you guys. Raiders. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. Oh, and yeah, off so. we go from Seattle. And this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 20. All right, so like any play you pick, you just swap my tight end because you want to make sure you get your best playmakers on the field. Like if you come out like a two tight end set, just pick a play where X isn't a receiver, you know, or if X is a receiver, you need to block him or motion him so that it, it, it isn't a problem. Um, Mariota now to throw on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And yeah, Jacobs get him down one receiving game. Across the 40 yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. A gain of nice little nifty yards. play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup sure on first down. Block X. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. From the gun, Mariota. Jones has it. That catch good for five. It's third down. Five yards on the play. And it's third down. Yoda does so much for me, baby. Up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. We don't get it. It's okay. You guys will cover for me. 
Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Nice for me, baby. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. First down, Las Vegas. First and ten, here's Mariota. Caught by Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Look at there, baby. Nice Mariota is thriving for us, man. I know from past it. experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to yeah. like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Man, I love Mariota, man. Welcome back to the team for us, Mariota. Mariota had an 87 yard. Car just couldn't do that, man. Last, but it is you know, like I said, each week I'm going to change it up a little bit. Some games I use Car, some games I use Mariota. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the 5 yard line. He was taken down by Bobby Wagner. A gain of five. Bring the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. On the ground, this is Jalen Richard. And he'll be taken down as that nice will take try. us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. Had he not had his safety there, that would be a short on fourth and goal from the one. But as y'all can see, we didn't have any touch you know, quick passes to the tight end. For the most part, we did all right. But I mean, now he has to go up the this is for three defense. Now Wilson down around. Oh, little man! This should have been a safety. In the shadow of their own goal line, you know they're going to face pressure. He's lucky his arm was going forward. On, it was close, but it was going forward. Yeah, it could have been a safety or even giving up a defensive touchdown. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the game ate me. Oh, really? Man, get the fuck out of here. And he is <laughs> this should have been a fucking safety two times in a row. A I missed the angle on the die. 67 yards. He got lucky with that one. Look at there. I missed. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Two possible safeties. See, they even, they even talking about it, bro. Look at there. His defense converges. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. Now on second and 16, Wilson flushed out. Oh, yes, sir. Holding. Oh, they probably got me for late hits. As they work it inside the really? 10 to the 7. <laughs> Ruff them up, man. Ruff them up. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball. Hey, if I can get you the quarterback every play, man, in a base defense, that's and not good. Hit him. There's the penalty. So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll try the left side. Carson. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him Not right running at the line this. of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there and it's second down. I like this defense because it doesn't require a lot of adjustments. You know, it's just... Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On second down. Oh, we were there, man. Fuck. Zone touchdown, 
Seahawks taking it in from four yards out. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Ooh, look at there. You see me? <laughs> hey, y'all just see me just push that guy down. Hey, I'm going to start doing that more. Get somebody with a high impact block. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. We did all right on our first drive, man. We just got to capitalize on the red zone. I know he likes his cover four drop show, too. So, we're going to attack that real quick. Only thing is, man. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. I just have to know I can't go for the one play with Murray. Like, he can't throw it. Like, super deep unless he's like a busted coverage. So, I'm always going to be looking underneath when I'm using Mariota. And I have to... I have to have, like... Like, priority on that and whatnot. Um... And he's got the hook up to rugs. And just kill him with the rack. This so as long as you know, you, you know, your quarterback can't throw it real deep, you know. Like he can, like I said. It's just, it has to be a busted cover for him to make that throw. At the 27. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando or Jonathan Coach. Hello. We'll have highlights and analysis yeah. of this first half of action. First down. Looking for rugs again, and he's got him again. And all the way yeah. to the two yard line there before crossing yeah. over out of bounds. That's back to back plays of over 20 yards. First down. This mm -hmm. offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Yeah. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Taking it in yeah. from two yards out. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running yeah. backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. First and 10 at their own 27 yard line. Coming to the yep. line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do yeah. it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments okay. and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A gain of 13. It's a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. He got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Hearing it out for Olsen. It's oh. caught inside the 25. Now the Seahawks yeah. will use the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to Nathan. go in the first half. 40 yard line on first down, Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Not but there, hey, my defense, yard. you know, it gets pretty, it gets, it gets in pretty quick. It's just the thing with Turbo, That's man, it hurts to change your direction real bad. Looking to throw again on second down. 
Wilson, he's going to take off with him. And he's out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Oh, man. This is... <laughs> Get in the backfield. And see, the thing about Russell Wilson, he don't know who's coming because the guy I'm sending... The guy that I'm sending... Get him! Ah, oh, fuck myself up. Damn! It's a good defense. We got the right defense for what he's doing. It's just, man. <laughs> that change of direction, boy. We gotta, we gotta fix it. That's the only way I'm gonna get him. I gotta die that him so he can't fucking get away from me. Might throw the containment in there. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. So not much time to, to speak of Nick. remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Taking it about the one. Right, so right here. Just shy of the 25. No, he's going to be running. So we're going to go with a backup quarterback. We know he's going to be in that cover for us. He likes it. Never mind. I mean this. So. We're under 20 seconds to go. We're going to be able to do this. The wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here. Oh, here's what you're crazy. facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary. Playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection. You're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're saying that real They're really not going to be out of position. Take the man into the locker room. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. At the 42-yard line. On second down now. It's Jacobs. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. <sighs> Three deep. With two seconds Man, remaining in the second quarter. Oh. Fuck it. That's clean. The final shot here before half for Carr. Reception here by Ruggs. <laughs> and he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That's it I appreciate it, Hanzo. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Okay, coach. Appreciate it. I right. know we got the defense to stop this guy. Here we get set to resume play in the second half. The Seahawks with the mm. advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. I'm go like a linebacker pass rush package. And able to so get this get out nice to the 25. Field, to come and play the team. So let's do that. The linebacker pass rush. We get better inside pass rush with the power the moves. Seattle that Crosby ready comes to get this the table. drive underway. Mm. They have the lead now. They'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, show them one thing, hit them with something else. 16 yards, a first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. The thing about this is you can create any gap on oh, one. First down, Carson. And this will be taken across midfield. You can go up the center or you can go between the guard and the tackle. The tackle there by LaMarcus Joyner. When they change their style, their protection, you can just change your gap that you can open up. You can go like crash out. That would help open up this offense and widen this market too. Like middle gap. From just shy of like midfield. Wilson under a heavy rush and down he goes. So change to his play Great style. That's all we got to do. Able to get him for a loss of about three. We just crash out. On 
third down, Wilson. And he finds a man, it's Olsen. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. <laughs> I don't fucking care, bro. He's going to take licks. And then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke. He's going to make an adjustment on who he's going to quick pass to. So we take that tight end away. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. They'll try to left side. It's Carson. He's no, going to get 20 yards to the, to the sideline just to gain four yards. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but Jesse. stay with the overall essence of the running game. Oh, man, I'm like missing these hit sticks, bro. And he'll be brought down here at Come on the now. Three -yard better than that. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got Nowhere a first and goal. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. See, the beauty about this is that we don't have to turbo. We only turbo if he's passing. If he runs, we just go out and break out for the run set. Across the uh, he got him scared. Chris Carson. Again, that's why I don't like getting the ball first. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Because usually this is how it starts off, man. Offense, Charles, you take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is I miss the old games, like man, where you you game, used to see the coin toss, man. You see the players in the middle of the field to get to pick heads or tails. Which means they couldn't get you off. You the felt field. like you had a chance to whether whether or not you had the ball first or not. Big time drive in that situation. And tackled at the 21 yard line. Like lately, man, it's like I'm always ball first. It's like, okay. All right, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to hit him. I know he likes that cover four. We need a crossing route. The Raider offense set to get this drive so started. Like and their halftime hole now score. even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 21. First down, Las Vegas. First down, Raiders. On first down, Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. To throw again on second down, Carr. He'll find Moreau. Oh, I love Foster Moreau, man. He's not like super blazing fast. Three quarters in the box. He consistent. This is the man. National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's Raider football here, but they're on the in. short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. <laughs> it's that rough, man. They got two of them. First, and that'll make it second down. Adams, there on the result of that one, a nice four yard gain, so you can use that to set up your play action. Hey, I want y'all to pay attention to something. You see how my slot receiver changed? And I took two big hits. If you use my um, auto subs, you get that. That way, it's going to help you prevent getting turnovers. With a play fake to Jacobs, he'll find his tight end. That's Waller, and he gets this one inside the. Especially with fatigue being a factor, you know, I might take him out one or two plays or whatnot. I can always change that back. You know, see, I see how he comes in when he's yellow, so I might change those again after this game. Like I said, I'm always making adjustments, always trying to find ways to improve. 
So he's probably going to get fatigued. And basically, look at my offense going to be fresh. My guy's getting auto subbed in there. I ain't got to worry about flipping packages too much. They've got to pay it off with some points. They go back to the ground this time, Jacobs. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. And he won't be close to a first down as he Yo, this is like tough right territory, man. Scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. I've got some plays. I'm playing a lot of man coverage, I need. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Mario Yo, that's P.I. No. They no, the they just fucking got away with P.I., bro. Wow. Even, but he literally just took his linebacker and bumped my man off his route. Like, what the fuck? Did the patch? I haven't seen P.I. in the last few um, updates. Hmm. Oh, man, I am bad with the hit sticks this year. And he will be taken down, but a big play there as it comes just as we, we gotta reach get the two-minute warning. Yeah, I'm going to lose this game. There ain't nothing I can do, man. Two minutes. I can go ahead and see. Save the time. But notice we really didn't have any, you know, quick passes, you know. And that was big. That was something I was about to sh Oh, yeah. I'm going to go through the roster. I'm going to go through and change my settings on a couple of things that I noticed. Like with the receivers, we got the takeout right, but we need to put them back in at a um, need to put them in at a higher interval. See, look, they, see, I need to change that. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go like 85. You don't want this sub in too high. So let's say we go, what, we were on 90. Let me turn that down to 91. running back was straight I'm gonna leave the running back as is because Jacob he a playmaker I don't want to take him out I'm gonna go my sub in will be one below on all of them We're gonna change this, cause I've seen how it's how it's reacted now. So let's say we get our tight ends, we get that down to 81. We're gonna fix this for you guys. Not really gonna sub your offense alignment out too much, but if they get kind of fatigued, man, you're gonna need them to rest up. So we'll have it down like that. Quarterback. Now we can manually sub him. that down let's see 80 81 running back a little bit higher you go like 90 91 for running back 90 so all your all your uh, high plays
tight ends we're not going to worry too much about like i might go up a little bit higher 85 86 so that that's going to be your offense that should be a lot better i mean i had it good but you know i, I want my, my team to be completely fresh against the wore out defense so now we know a little bit more how this shit's working you know, I had it. I had it a little bit last year, but now I see where you can make changes. Um, you don't want your defensive line getting tore up, but at the same time, you don't want to take them out and have bums in there. You know, when you only need them in there for like one or two plays. So, not necessarily calling them bums, but you know. So that should be about where the running back is. Let me see. Ninety-one. We'll go 91-90 for the defensive tackles. Because I got four defensive tackles in my 4-3 defense. And having fresh defensive linemen against wore out offensive linemen is a huge plus advantage in your favor. Uh, defensive ends, we, never, we need to change that out too. So we're going to treat defensive ends the same way we treat our fullbacks. So it's 85-86. Linebackers will, will. I don't want to sub them out too much, but I don't want them getting wore out. So we'll go. We'll treat these guys like the quarterbacks of the defense. So we got our D line set, running back, wide receivers. Our cornerbacks need to be like wide receivers, uh, almost, but not completely. So we'll go. We'll treat them like running backs. We'll go 85, 86 safeties I don't have a lot of safeties but I'm going to treat them the same so it should look like that for defense hope that helps you guys only thing about if I upload my roster to the community files is rosters don't save man like you can download it and I, I guess each time you log on you would have to re-download it you know which it it fucking sucks you know they need to fix that shit but I think we got that shit straight we haven't thrown a quick pass to the tight end there's a there's a couple of things that y'all can do too guys is um, like I said make sure you block your tight end your X route tight end or send him on like a blue route Okay, that's going to take him away. Now, if he's on a blue route and it does it, instead of throwing it to him, he's going to run his blue route. Okay, so that's that's one way to kind of save you from the quick pass that, you know, might result in you throwing an interception. You know, you know that shit sucks. I know a couple of y'all watch me get fucking mad at the game. I damn near want to fucking throw my stick across the damn room. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look But I'm trying to put some tips out there to help you guys, man, so that y'all don't do that. I've seen someone on Facebook got mad and threw his fucking stick and broke a fifty sixty dollar stick. Bro, you ain't gotta do that, man. Yeah. I get mad, I punch a mattress. <laughs> I ain't about to throw my money. <laughs> and be like, fuck, I gotta go get another stick. What up good? What's good? Is it Javi or Javi? Is the is the J silent? Is it is it Latino or? Fielded in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line. The J silent. Dropped at the 23. At their own 23 yard line. Javi. Javi Javi. So he has Gilmore on the slot. First thing I see is him pinching the line in. Now we have Mariota. It's not usually going to be in our favor. We're going to just put him on a swing route. First down, Mariota. 
See, the thing about when you're using Mariota, like we're, we're going to be using Mariota as our primary QB man after after using Carr last week. You know, we feel like we have a better chance to win with Mariota. Oh, appreciate it, bro. So we're going to keep Mariota in. A first down throw for Mariota. Looking left side and he's got him in. We're just gonna stick it's to the Jacobs. short pass game, you know? Three yards the game. No Mariota, like we've tried when the game first came out, we've tried some of our beaters, man. He just doesn't have the arm strength to do what we like. So we're gonna play him like that. In this case, he came up quickly and made a nice short tackle. Now a toss left side yeah. into the Stick hands of straight Kenan. up. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across <laughs> the 45 before going out. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Right. So the 14 yeah, yards actually takes him from one 43 to the other for first and 10. A quick throw there out to Williams. This will be stopped. Kill him when he's RPOs, man. I don't know why people come out and they don't pay attention to what formation you're in, man. Look at this. Got, I can run my entire fucking close. Close look. You want to bring people in, bro? You sure you want to do that? Then you got Gilmore on, on Williams? Bro, that, that tells me all the shit I need to know right there. Again, it's Mariota. Ah, uh, really? He got that green. Smart move. I give him that. That was smart. But we have Josh Jacobs. He's going to stay in there. I'm not going to do this real for a moment. Jacobs going to go pound town on that ass. Let's go. Straight raw and dog, and no condom, giggity giggity. Yards. Let's go. Jacobs now. First down, Raiders. I'm gonna trip myself up. That one good for ten so yards. You want to play that three, three down lineman and shit. Just about a few inches you want to bring that safety in the block box. So now you're opening up stuff that I like to do. Playing man coverage on me, bro. Gonna be wide open when I motion him. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. Yeah, man, I, you gotta open your book up, man. Like you can't just stay in one formation. Like I got a full scheme behind my two wide receivers, two running back sets. It's just you know I, don't know, I try not to show everything. You don't want to put all your, your eggs in the basket for everybody to see. You know, you got to hide some of your good stuff, you know. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, y'all might catch me and y'all might catch me use one of them, you know. But I try not to, you know, I'll stay in like one or two while I'm streaming that, you know, can pretty much defend most of what I'm dealing with. Cam gonna bring the I Patriots play like tournaments and shit. And so we got Cam, so we're gonna play contain. Now, assuming he's. Boy, good shit, Raquan. Boy, I love his block shit, baby. Sorry, he just got off that guard. That's why we use him as our left outside linebacker, baby. Look at that. Boom, get off that guard. Block shit. Get in the back, too. Fucking love him. Get through the line. Just enough speed to get in there and get in the backfield. Yeah, that, that bug is annoying, but it doesn't bother me no more. Alright, we're going to go between the tackle and the guard. Get off him. This shit, Avon, bro. I love Avon. It's a gain of 35. So often on these RPOs, we see the ball get from the quarterback to the receiver in what feels like a nanosecond. But on this play, 
He actually cleared coverage downfield a bit before the Screen. ball got to him. The oh, we were on it! Oh! Oh! This game hates me. <laughs> Alright, well, baseline, spread linebackers contained. So he's just an RPO. Okay. Quickly. And he works we'll make adjustments. We'll make adjustments. 30, almost to the 25. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. So, what we're going to do is we're going to man first this slot. At the 26 yard line. After one, seven, nothing. All right, so he's doing that. We flip the play. This time we're going to switch our packages. Because I want to get Tanner Muse in there. Ah, it can be avoided. On first and ten, take it away. That is caught at the seven. There is a way to stop. Down he goes, taking it inside the ten, just shy Any of the five at the six. A nice gain at twenty-one yards. Too confusing to go, man. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. To the air again, Newton. And this is called a touchdown, Patriots. Devin Asiasi there to make the grab. And the Patriots. Come on, dude. You gotta make the right adjustments. Like I'll I'll probably stop it in big minutes. Sometimes mix those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch. We're gonna stay in gun. I'm just gonna match personnel. Especially if he spams it, man. If y'all if y'all watch me enough, man, if someone spams something. You work your tight end I start playing it, crack now. For a to start picking Sounds that like shit apart like it's a lot, you know. Six. I'll try different things, I'll switch different things zone. up, and then I'll find something to stop. It. Like, there's no play in the game that can't be stopped. You just gotta kind of just get your reps against it. Oh, it's me and the fucking. Now, this is a nice screen right here because nobody sees this one coming. Watch the Raider this offense set to get this it's drive started. Screen. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix nice things. Nice summary of what he has to call. I see a lot of keeps cover him only a yard and it's so second He's going to play cover they two. He's going to bring him in. All right, so we blocked the tight end line. right here. That's going to protect us. Mariota. You don't, you don't see it. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Yeah, he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. We had the open pass. And it's third down. Like I said, just block the tight ends and you ain't got to worry about it. He took him out of position, coach. Yardage, Mariota. He'll let this go deep for, and that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. They give him a gain of 38. It depends, man, because I did it last year, and <laughs> in cert against certain players, bro, he gets sucked into animations because his overall isn't very high. Like, you'll notice it, man. You get mad. The you know, one of those elite players, and yard. you'll see Another what I'm talking about. There. This one good for like, I, I do use them sometimes. Like, I just don't use them a lot. Pretty solid, and of course, remember back to their first drive. Really strong throughout that. Yeah. You know, key stats that I do like. Yeah, don't take that away. From the red zone now, Mariota. Get that ball off, Mariota. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Eleven more on that one, and another first yeah. down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Boy, Jacob. Able to break one tackle, but All right, so we're going to eat this down. clock, man. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. I'm going to eat some of this clock, so he doesn't really have a lot of time. You get the sense? The next time he instead has of having him all the way out, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? They'll run it with Jacobs. And the avenue collapsed for him as he's going to be held up short on the goal line. Two runs in a row. See, now he is in the Got some of my options. I think I'm better off with the toss. Yep, yeah, yep. I mean, Carr does have a nice deep throw. I'm not going to say I'm not going to use Carr. He does have a nice deep throw. If you're playing people that don't blitz and only send three or four people, Carr's, you know, going to make some nice throws for you down the field. It's just when they start blitzing, and your stick starts to rattle, and then you throw the ball, and it's, it's like, what the fuck, you know? On the return, he starts Taylor. throwing stupid passes for some odd reason, you know. And it's a pretty good return here, so he'll get this And he doesn't have like speed to exactly down. get away. You see what 88 speed does? Like 88 speed barely gets you. Yeah, no, you can't throw on the run with him, bro. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And right, we're gonna try this blitz again. The in the final try to a couple of gaps. See where he's weak at. Got him. Oh! I got screwed. That's our gun empty blitz, baby. And we'll try that five wide they want to. Let's see what we got to do. We better, we better flip it. We gonna flip it. Base line. We're going to get Tanner Muse back there. That's out to the Drop left that block shit. Good shit. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line All right, so he comes out in that. 11 yards there. First down. Now Newton. A quick throw saying. complete into the flat out left. Yeah, all right, and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A gain of six there on first. RPO's not going to get you down the field, bro. The slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're you got to take a shot. Are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and, I'm not and speed. Give it to you. And they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Again, Newton. Tanner, come on! Come on! That's a fucking sack! First tight end, Devin Asiasi there. And it's third down. And four. Alright, so he's he's dropping protection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drop back. He ID'd the wrong person. Oh, that's, I just got cheated. Man. That's, we had it right, too. Man. Just pay attention to what he does as a quarterback. You start seeing him do, do shit for the offensive line, don't send him. But I feel like I got screwed twice, man. That shit got back there. I could probably do it from a big nickel. And use a faster running back back there. Let's see. So first and ten now from the thirty. Throwing. How you little RPO, buddy? Good shit. A Mick Robinson. That's who I use as my safety, bro. Like I, I feel what you say with a with with, with Philly, but a Mick, he's he's so much 
so this much more for me now. And it's a presentation of EA I use him as my other safety. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A He's like my, Le you know, he plays like Lamarcus Joyner a little bit. In the second half. Underrated player. Trailing here, but they will have the Great first change of direction. Is underway. Has some offensive traits. And so it's like, you know, even against an elite player, you know, he's going to make a play on the ball. Remember, 4-3 over flip play. And depending on if he's like in the trips or something, we're going to have to base the line just so that we can get it through. All right, pistol weak. Front flipped. The Pats at the line, ready to go. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because right. the interception, that Let's sting a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Just his second throw. catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. 37-yard line. Good fucking shit, Tanner. Good fucking shit. Backwards, back to the 33. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Running like this. Now on second and thirteen, Newton rolling to his right. Nope. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. All right. So what I the might do? Let him a little too far. It brings up third down. I might put our linebacker this at the defensive end position in either man coverage on a possible RPO, or I might just drop him in like a vertical hook. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here. All right, on third we'll put down. him right there. Yeah, we got the matchup we want. From the gun, here's Look at there. Look at that adjustment with the linebacker at defensive end. He gets fouled in coverage a lot faster. I love doing that. Get someone with decent zone coverage and they can react to the ball a little bit better. All right, so this. I'm going to go. I think I use my under. My stock cover three under. Cam Newton's not coming off the field. They'll keep the offense out to go for it on fourth. Ah, uh, yeah, I can do the same blitz in under. I just had to look at it first. It's Julian Edelman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works I'm gonna do a flip. Fourth down, no problem. Nineteen move the line. that time, but now it's first and ten. So here's a first and ten. And then we can get, we get Mario to work. At the 48-yard line. A throw over the we middle. We got a linebacker over in. there. A gain of six there Might on play first. Like hard flat. Six yards was the pickup on the last in. completion, so here's second and four. Brings up second and four. They'll run it here. Well, I love the line. Fucking block break, bro. There. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. All right, good RPO, this is RPO. Territory if they're unable to convert. Hey, it's all good. Right now looking at a third and three. I'll take safety down next time. Inside the 15 before they drop it. Oh, big on the ground there, 27 yards. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. We'll take it like that. Take it like that. On the RPO, that's complete right side. Oh, and he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Might just cross, man. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Patriots the are within an extra point that way of tying this one up. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. See, the more you run something against me, I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking. Thinking, 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 thinking. Because eventually, I'm going to crack the code on your ass, and then you ain't going to have nothing left to do. I already know how to stop everything else. You ain't opened so your book up. Ball game here as the kicks away. Now this will make it into the end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this yeah. to the 25 yard line oh. as he's dropped at the 23. I don't think he wants to respect this. He wants to get this drive started. And their lead he wants to finish the line and it's a power run. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Well, you're not tackling like Diggs with a fucking safety, bro. First down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right, okay. right here. What I mean by that is, possess the ball for a little while. Thank you, man. Finish that line again. Down. Thank you, sir. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Love the He's toss run, man. It works so much better than stretch runs. The 30. So much better, bro. And he will he ain't score. Not untouched. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Josh Jacobs. Especially when they play man coverage against power runs. <laughs> Y'all know. Y'all know the storyline on that. And that run massively increased. Anytime someone spams that cover one bullshit quote unquote meta defense, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Halfback base, power O, counter, trap. Uh, toss plays, quick pitches. The kickoff unit is out Eat them alive, man. Eat them alive. Get them out of that shit. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Learn today. First and 10 at their own 26 yard line. All right, so. We stopped this the and last the time with the crash they the drive. out. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown, and cut the lead. But the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. And partner, I know hindsight's always Trying to be too cute, bro. Man, just in general, those laterals. They Trying to be too so cute. Risky, and we see the risk that Hi, car. Right there. And you just trying have to work to some know, of that magic you and, got. And we've seen it because we've been at a lot of practices. See, like, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on it. Maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling. Maybe oh, we ask them to help us with the lateral. Yeah, I don't know, coach. make that a better play. By the way, you're going to... Throw down for the backup car. Throw left side complete. Thanks, Jacobs. Jacobs. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Like run a cross. Catch, but even with that all right, yo, this beats me. So they're behind schedule. I'm down with this car. Has. I, so I, ha to I have versatility, you know. Miss, but that window we take quick. him and put him in a block release route. Throwing again on second down. Car. And a slant hold in by Ruggs. Look at there. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Oh, smart route, man. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They put him in that blue route. Car now on first down. Ah, Jones, you got to catch that, buddy. That was a touchdown. All right, so he hasn't learned his lesson. He wants to sit here and spam. You know what we're about to do? So after the Come on, take him in. Thank you. Now second and 10. on the toss right. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. The Raider ball carry. At this stage I like the game, Jacobs, bro. the score where it is, the key here stays He's like a cheat code. And he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do. Late game situations, kicking situations. It doesn't matter what it is. The things you have to do to win a game. And that comes up in that meeting. Then you practice it. They've got to be happy to see it executed and being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. And inside the field, he's in there somewhere. Oh, there we go. Right at the three. Oh, Give him eight oh, yards. Let me finish this thing real quick. What you gonna, what you gonna do? Get that cake. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. No, 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 no. Get that motherfucker. <laughs> I can't. Come here, kitty. No, you better get that motherfucker. Get that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. What you been up to? 
And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this oh, lead. Okay. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. I'm coming up in the world, ain't you? Mariota. And that is incomplete. The Raiders try to hold that right. down, but to no avail. And All right. that will force a turnover on down. <laughs> yeah. I'm streaming on my YouTube channel. Yeah. The Pats at the line yeah. ready oh to go. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter. Yeah, you be safe. You be safe, here, okay. Asi -asi. That play going for 16 <laughs> yards to start the drive. First down. That'd be. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is right. what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Okay. Now Newton on first down. He's got it to James White. And he'll get this up to the 30 yard line. A 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. At the 30 yard line. First down, here's White. And some room to maneuver. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their okay. job. And then some people doing a little bit more. <laughs> Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. <laughs> but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block right, well, a big time running down and create extra space. <laughs> I can't. Can, I got there. I'm in a bad position. <laughs> I see you like Alright, let me focus. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And try to jump this RPO. Guy for a nice pickup. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch round. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in a yard. Brings up second. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Off the draw, here's Michelle. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 25. This dude literally trying to play eat clock against me. We'll play man coverage. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one score game. The drive continues as they search for a tie. on our line back here. Here's first and 10. Off the RPO, he completes it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It'll be a pickup really of 10 yards. Okay. And it'll be second and very short. At the Raiders 15-yard line. We didn't have to use it. Back to throw. Good fucking shit, Morrow. Good fucking shit. Go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. Pressure. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. The play fake to Michelle. Boom! Pressure. Let's go. He's taken down. Nah, we know damn well he ain't fucking about to sit in there and fucking RPO us. We're gonna play this cover six. I shouldn't need to do any alignments. Everything down should be straight. Down seven and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Run it like this. Three man rush. Take away. Letting one go deep for the Look at a Mick Robertson, bro. And, oh, a crusher there. Look at a Mick Robertson, baby. Read it well and it's picked. What blitz? You know oh, uh, the one I use in Big Nickel. Like it's, it's that one with so a safety far. calm There's down. down. I'll show you in a minute, man. And when you're getting contributions up and down your 53 man roster, you're going to be all right. Worry a little bit about this. the INT it's car reception here by rugs 
bike works. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Because I don't necessarily need to go for, you know, cover three beaters anymore. You know, you send your fastest guy on a drag route. They got to respect them, you know? Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. So what we're going to do, we're going to see him on that slant. Lock release over there. Look at that boom. Oh! 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 Made him look silly. Made him look silly. That's why you want high jump receivers, guys. High jump receivers. They can make them catches like that. Yeah, you still gotta make sure you stay with it. And him and Ruggs are like over 90. I think Edwards got like a 91. That touchdown there. High jump receivers, man. Extra point by Carlson up and Told you, man. After a minute, you know, you keep spamming them little RPOs. I'm gonna find a blitz. I'm gonna get pressure on him. They see he done ate the clock up. Trying to play dink and dunk offense. We got a Nick Robinson over there, safety bros. It's the pinch blitz right here. That's the one that I used. We got man coverage on the on the running back, so New England with a first down blitz. as they begin the drive. What do you do here and just play, like in this situation? Play the deep. Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook? Look at that phone. Look at him, Nick Robertson is showing out. There's no setup, just show blitz. No setup. <laughs> just straight up, just show blitz. I tell you, when I play defense, I might, I might pass commit, show blitz. Sometimes I might crash the line a certain way, depending on the formation. But when I play defense, I try to find things that are, that are fast. You know, I don't want. You know, I've got a couple of blitzes that take you know seven, eight setups. But look, why, why you do seven, eight setups when you can get two or three setups and get that? You feel me? And then the seven, eight setups, man, you risk, uh, you risk getting switched over to a defensive lineman and then can't drop any coverage. You know, shit sucks. And I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, man. That shit just fucking sucks. It is what it is. Finish the game off with a nice little catch to pad the stats. Yeah, I like the two quarterback system, man. They both they both have their pros and their cons. But I think we're, we're ultimately, for right now, I'm thinking I'm, I'm liking my chances with Mariota as the starter, especially with my under center offense. You know, if I need to throw a car in there, I can, but... And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. That defense, man. <laughs> I be working, man. It just take me a while to kind of get comfortable using it when the season open up, you know, because a lot of people, they, they find the little cheese offense early. You know, they'll come out in the five wide and then you just, you know, you got to re-figure out your line shifts and stuff because what works this year for me you know the same adjustments didn't work last year you know i'm taking some of the adjustments i used last year and i i gotta find new ways to fill the gaps you know um but overall that was a very good game for us got 200 yard receivers i have two quarterbacks that are that were hot <laughs> both of them got a touchdown both of them like over 140 passer rating at, at both over 80 percent so they're both good you know both are good. Uh, Carr, obviously, he's going to have a, a better average yard per attempt because I, I use him for the deeper passes. But uh, definitely, both both did very, 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 very good. Rushing, you know, Mariota escaped when he needed to. Got Jacobs fucking doing the damn thing. The motherfucker averaging 12.5 yards per attempt. <laughs> Only ran it nine times, like, you know. You ain't got to sit there and run 20 times, man, to get fucking 100 yards, man, if you know what you're doing. Got 200-yard receivers. Rugs, like, you don't need to send Rugs deep every time, bro. He's a rack machine. You know, this boy got, like, 47 rack just off drag routes. 
<laughs> you know, so. Mm. Let's see what else we got. Hopefully, when they they come up with a patch, they'll they'll fix the quick pass to the tight end. I'll be able to use my tight end more than what I've been using in the game. But the thing is, we took away the quick pass bullshit. You know, by by blocking him, put him in put him in on blue routes. You know, so that it doesn't affect your your offense because it will piss you off, man. You have a dialed up play to beat the defense, and then next thing you know quick pass interception and then you're like what the fuck you know th those moments really really kill your drive so make sure y'all start doing these little blue route concepts that i'm using man it'll it'll help you out so much and like i said i feel you with uh um, with killings bro but a mick is that guy bro my dude got a sack for me he got two picks for me you know <laughs> it's like now it's compare and contrast, you know, and then a Mick has the aggressive play ball and the air trait, which you definitely need. You know, if you have anybody with that trait, they need to be on the field. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Because they're going to jump routes like they got a better zone coverage or whatever, or better man coverage. They're going to play tight. When that ball goes in the air, watch. I'm going to kind of show you a couple things that I'll be looking at. Let me see. Uh. You, you're, you're basically, you know, you, you look at, you're taking Robertson and Killings, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them side by side just so that y'all can compare and contrast. I'm going to put Abel's back, okay? Overall, Robertson is better. Speed plus one is not really going to be much of a factor. Strength is like what? Seven, eight, nine. It's eight difference. Uh, it's not going to be much of a difference because of the weight disparately. You know, it's like 187 and 195. Uh, strength's not going to play much of a difference there because he's 195. And I don't think, you know, I guess that would only factor against, you know, him going up against a smaller receiver. So that's not really a factor for the position. Robertson has more agility. They got the same acceleration. Robertson has more awareness. This is this is the thing I was trying to tell you earlier. Um, that awareness is going to play a big dividend when you're going up against an elite receiver or a tight end. You know, and you don't want to get sucked into one of those um, mutt animations. You know, where the dude gets the aggressive catch animation on you and it feels like your guy gets sucked out of position like the CPU just controls him. Even when you're using them, that shit sucks. Um, Robertson has a better change of direction. Robertson has better offensive traits, whereas ball carrier vision, stiff arm, spin move, juke move, carry, catch. Um, I'm not going to worry about the, the other stuff. He has better catch in traffic, better spec, better... The jumping is three. It's in the same tier, so it's not going to be much of a difference. Um, Robertson's a better tackler. Robertson has better hit power. Robertson has better block shed. Robertson has better pursuit. Robertson has better play rate. Man coverage. Zone coverage. Uh... So yeah, we that's why we use Roberts. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what else he has here and just let me put this guy back where he was. Alright, look at this. This is what I look for, guys. He has the high motor and he has this right here. The aggressive play ball in the air trait. Okay. You want that on the field, wherever you can get it. Um I know he doesn't have it, but he does. This is why he's our starting safety. I'm gonna show you why he has that clutch trait. See it? So on key plays, if the ball's going near him, even if he's out of position, he's going to get put into the right position on key plays. Like it might, someone might be going for it on fourth down. Let's say you're in a, uh, in a, in a curl flat. This motherfucker is going to override your curl flat if they're running, you're running like a, a short route and he's going to jump down on it. You know, he's going to play smarter with that clutch trait in big moments of the game. You know, all of his stats are going to be 
a lot higher during you know those big moments of the game whether someone's trying to go for it or you know you may be behind in the fourth quarter in a close game his stats are going to go up it's not going to show it but that's what the clutch trait does it, it improves his stats in a lot of areas like his coverage skills goes up you know stuff like that um, if y'all play CFM a good example is you know how you play well with a with a team or whatever um, like with your offensive alignment you know you having a great great job running the ball and passing the ball and not giving up too many sacks you know how they they have those little plus threes and plus fives you know that kind of buffs their their overall for for performing well well that's pretty much what the clutch trait does in regs you just don't see it okay it's it's like that that ghost stat you know but it's good to have um so you want to make sure like i said you want to make sure you have those aggressive play ball and air traits balanced is okay conservative is if if you're not controlling him if he's not your user or if he's not like in the exact spot where the ball is going to be throw thrown nine times out of ten he's not going to go for the pick he's just going to swat it down he's just going to put his hand up and swat it down okay uh not saying that they won't go for picks i'm just saying that they're not going to be aggressive at you know making plays on the ball to get it back for your offense um so like i said you want to make sure you have that aggressive balanced is okay but aggressive is a positive okay conservative eh. <laughs> i don't like conservative Huh, but that was a good win for us. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this right, Baltimore man. crowd. They're all Let's set as their Ravens will match up with the Las Vegas Raiders. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. I tried. You can't really get those hurdles, man, this year like I could before. Remember, like I said, you can't always look deep if you're using Mario. You can't always look deep. Unless it's just that. They go play action here on first down. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Throwing is Mariota. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Yard gain. Well, just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. First carry for Josh Jacobs, and he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And they're going to have this across see. midfield again. And inside if it was Carr, it would have been one play. Mariota just take the smart pass. Man. Play like a true a nice West Coast there, Charles. They picked up the blitz. Were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. 
red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. And behind the chain, second and 13. To throw Mariota. Oh, what we like, Stepping Mariota. Up, he's going to keep it. Park cannot do that. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. Park Parker, cannot do that. He was going through his progressions. Shit, not there, not there. After about the third oh, one, he decided he better Park push down and run for it. Park doesn't bend. The motherfucker's block shit. And avoids the hit for good like, measure. What the fuck, man? <laughs> it's like... Uh. So that's why we're going to use him as our starter. Try to run for it with Jacobs. Oh, he's not down! Oh, yeah, there, bro. Like, look at this. Oh, he didn't get touched now. Come on now. Yeah, he's in cover three. Make sure we get our lead block up the field in these types of runs. Running is Jacobs. And he'll lose All right, so he's crashing down. The only way you get that in is That tells me he's playing. Oftentimes when you see running back rugs. get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. 13 yards remaining on second down. They'll try to throw now. Mariota. It's complete to Williams. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Dinkin Dunk, man. Dinkin Dunk. Take what he a gives. Gain of six yards. And it's Not going to worry too much. Down. We got Mariota. We can play this offense. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. Mariota now. Got his connection complete Beautiful. to Ruggs. And he's going to be taken down. Man, run this shit like a true West Coast. Line. Take the time. You don't one. really want, you know, the Ravens on the field a lot when you From play. Down at the team, 12, so. it's first and 10. Because yeah, Lamar Jackson, that run, it's, it's a lot different this year. It's a lot different back monster. To the running game with Jacobs. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there. I could have had that. I, I fucked up. I did. I, I'm not supposed to hit turbo. No gain on the play, and it's second that down. Up second and ten at the Ravens' 12-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's a handoff to Jacobs, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. On third down, Mariota throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard out. short. See the beauty of now how we have our shit set up. Our guys are not tired. As we step aside here in this second quarter. We got quarter. two yards to go. He's playing a lot of quarters concepts. I could probably get him with this mesh concept. To They're going to go for it now. Fourth and two. Remember, they can still get the first down at the one yard line, though. Mariota to throw it. Buying time to turn around. Oh! No, they didn't. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good try.
First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to them. 15 big yards. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, and whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. To throw is Jackson. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. At the 47-yard line. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff to Ingram. He was brought down by Malik Collins. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Second down at six now from the 42. A handoff. It's Mark Ingram. And he gets it inside. He's running into that man. Just shy of the 30. 11 yards there. First down. First and two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless time, first man. half. Line of scrimmage. The running back was stupid. First and 10. I'm going to be right. Mommy. There go that man again. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first Check. half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. That's supposed to have been a sack, bro. For this halftime give the, give Why no? Some highlights here. Yes, we do. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now it's Jackson. Good fucking shit. It's intercepted. Pick up the And a big turnover there every time. His guys will get the football back. All right, CD, I want to fit in your preseason predictions here. This is now our fifth year together in the booth. Yeah, Hard to believe beautiful. time flies, but Tight it's an coach. annual tradition that you tell us how you think things are going to shape up in each conference. Let's start with your thoughts on the AFC. All right, let's start in the East. I like the Bills. In the South, I like Indianapolis despite their loss on opening day. In the North, I like Baltimore. And out West, of course, I like Kansas City. For wild cards, I like the Chargers coming out of the West. I think that in the East, New England is going to get the nod. And then out of the North, I'm taking Pittsburgh. Remember, we got that extra team in the playoffs this year. And then when the playoffs break down, I do think it's going to come down to Baltimore and Kansas City in the AFC. And Baltimore, by a nose, goes to the Super Bowl. And just to be different from you, I like your conference championship matchup. I'll take Mahomes and the Chiefs heading back to the Super Bowl yet again. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, and that is on, incomplete. Man. He took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Mariota. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 11 yards there, first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. First down, Mariota. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Big boy, let's go. this one to midfield before he's brought down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down.
Mariota now from the 50. Flush to his right. Block for me, baby. Good block. Good block, Eagle. Good shit, my dude. That's why you need a true fullback, guys. You can use them to play make or lay those impact blocks for you. Against those little ass dumbass CBs that think they can tackle me in open space. And then we got that. Oh, got him! A little worried about it because of Mariota, but I think we were in close enough. I like Mariota, man. It's like I have more control of the offense. It's just he can't throw a super deep. The traffic, but usually yeah. what it means I don't use him for one play touchdown. And my offense speed, isn't based off of one play touchdown. To so. well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. They are nice. They're fun touchdown. to do. But you, know, you get caught spamming. It's, you know, it's not going to look good for you long term. You know, there's still a lot of picks. People users are going to start adjusting. And, Chasing those little uh, one play beaters down. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have Look to. Foul. Wow. That's Mario all we need, man. McMillan. The blitz works to perfection as he gets that three tight end set, bro. For a loss of eight. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Stand dude's close against me, bro. That's not gonna work for you either, bro. Let's get him, Roquan. Raquan McMillan able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now the Raiders gonna burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 now we seconds got him, to go before halftime. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. He's going deep for Brown. Coverage pick. Coverage play. Good fucking shit. Yeah, Lamar can't do shit. Not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Take him out of the game. Every take his run ability away. Put him behind. Early and off. They've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football yeah, again after that this one. Block. Call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 yes, following the 10-yard return. Side control lines. of the football, switching hands with very little time we remaining until the half. Work a good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Just like that, baby. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. I didn't have a time to 27 yard pickup. Car hype. Thought I had a timeout. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles oh, Davis. On that throw, I'm ready to go. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Returning it, Justice Hill. And they'll start this time. Oh, good tackling, baby. Nice oh, no. on the return. Let's get him out of this fucking three tight end set and power set. Let's get him out of it. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives. Get him out of that shit. Come on, buddy. Try something new. Quan McMillan able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third. Get out of it, bro. Like you're not gonna listen. Second and fourteen as they've got work to do here after the sack. You're not gonna listen. He's gonna find his tight end Boyle. You ain't gonna have no time to throw it in that formation, bro. Try something new. 
defense loves to hang they their say head on nope, edge, don't they? You wrong, get a guy to try catch again. the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to Force trying in to bad catch people after the catch. Passing situations with his defense, And that man. turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. Force in this case, though, mistakes. catch was made, put down right on the spot. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, Jackson. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be him, John. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Able to you convert on make, make play. 14, a terrific play call. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Don't worry about it. And he's going to get this one down to the edge oh, of the red zone. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you, push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. And stacked a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll look to run with Ingram. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. And again, it's Ingram. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Mark Ingram taking it in. Sucks and being able, you know, having to fucking go through the end zone with contact, game. doesn't it? A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive yeah, Aaron line. Yeah, touchdown. To get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. You're not going to know what open when space you is when you play me. stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. I'm not worried about you, bro. I so see what you have. here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Mm, you done gave up, like, what, five sacks? In a game where there isn't. In, in a game where... And the tackle going to be made that's, right there that's at the 25-yard line. He didn't really got me up, bro. You're getting dotted up by a 68 overall quarterback. I want the you to Raider remember offense that, okay? set to get this drive started. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn mm -hmm. as they've got it first mm -hmm. and ten. Mm -hmm. On the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. Powers through him. The first down and more for Jacobs. Your user He's sucks. At the 40, the 20, 10, 5, and he will score. <laughs> what, Touchdown did I use a truck to? <laughs> Josh Jacobs, 75 yards. And the Raiders have taken the lead. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense the film study was behind this one? They that 90 saw overall. something that they thought they could take advantage of. The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel nice. really good about what they did in advance of this game. We're just looking down at the sideline now. Their defense Especially is like if you know how to play with F-03. I know how to play with F-03. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Three, the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and ten. And that is incomplete. You're gonna have to earn it, every throw you have will be contested. <laughs> All right, this gives you know. us a chance, Charles, to go back to your playoff predictions. We covered the AFC. We'll every throw you have will NFC. be contested. All right, let's go with the division winners. Dallas in the east, Green Bay in the north. Let's see, New Orleans in the south. Uh, shit, that dives faster than holding turbo. Wild cards and they two come out west. Arizona and Seattle. And the third dive is faster than turbo. And Tampa Bay gets in. Now, I don't believe Tampa Bay's going to the Super Bowl. I think New Orleans and Seattle will slug it out for the Super Bowl champs. 
and I'm going with New Orleans to find their way in. Okay, so you got the veteran breeze against the uh, get throw, get throw. He's got a man complete. 20, 10, and he'll take it into the end zone. Missed the angle on the pass. <laughs> If they show the replay, you'll see I'm in the backfield. I just dived the wrong angle. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Justin, and correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions. Yeah, I mean, it's high risk, high reward, you know. Some people don't know how to handle it. Look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all down this one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away <laughs> take it in the end zone i mean i got more i got more <laughs> i just it up past the 20 to about the 22 <laughs> at their own 22 yard line The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it big time jaunt? Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense. Picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Back now in Baltimore. Oh, he didn't, he didn't even get the as sack. we get ready to start the fourth. Mmm, <laughs> that throw throw out a sack. I don't see that. I don't see that as much. I, I mean, like the after the up, they don't see down. that as much. But three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Play action. Mariota, the open man here, Renfro. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at man, the no pick on you, man. I ain't scared. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on got first to. and ten. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. Oh! Very incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Second and ten. Midfield, he goes into Raven territory. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Jacobs and he will have a first down here at about the four. Yes, he does. It's a dime five. defense. I'm taking first that. First down, Raiders. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school yeah, football lead block. players, isn't it? Tough, Pull back. Hard, yeah, yeah. run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So up through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. First down, they go with Jacobs again. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle I through the play hole. smart with Mariota, man. getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs smart, on that one being bigger. From the 37, they work on second and six. 
On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple. Down inside the 35 to the 34. Tackled at the 34-yard line. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Mariota eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind. Can't blitz him, bro. I like Mario. He can get out of the pocket, man. Maybe the most important down in football, and there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. to the five-yard line. They picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now Mariota. This will be caught at about the six. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. Not good. They didn't move the football an inch, and precious time ticking off the clock. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Jacobs, and he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. It's fourth and goal at the two-yard line. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So here we go. Maybe the biggest It ain't over yet, man. I'm just going to just take that back. Win the football game. So he's able to come through in a hostile environment, and you like have Jesus. to imagine that's the game winner. Yeah, how about that? And the way that this game's done, you think they really the game wanted to get you close style. There. They wanted to get this thing done. But it's not over yet. Consider, you don't want to play in overtime. You want to knock it down, get it done, and go home. And he returns this to the grass. Kiss the grass. The Ravens take over a first and fourth and half. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it. Oh, I'm a hard net. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. That's shit. It's Damon Arnett picking it off. Yeah, we're using Arnett as our starting corner, man. Look at this, man. The last two games have been great, man. Look how we've been putting the ball on the ground. And and really, man, look what we're able to do with Mariota now, man. It's a lot better than what I've been doing, man. I've been trying to use Carr as a starter, but it's just not working with how people play online. You know, and then, like I said, you don't need to give them 20, you know, 20 touches, bro. All right, 13 touches over 100, good average, 
Uh, I think he got a couple of receptions, two receptions, yeah. So that's great. You got it. We were able to get the ball to Rugs without having to spam one plays. Got the ball to the fullback, tight end. Notice I'm not getting hit with the bullshit fucking quick passes. I haven't. They, they, it's just not happening to me no more. Look at this guy. Four sacks. Y'all want that blitz, man. I know y'all do. Get your best players, man, in the field. How he would have had a lot more, man. He should have had like seven sacks with the, with how many times he came through. I want to go look at that fucking highlight. There he he. I think he had the touchdown. So it'll be. Where is it at? Yeah. Play. Ah, oh, they don't want to show the fucking play. I was in the backfield on it too, man. Fuck. Look at this shit. Against this power formation, look. You can't, you can't block it, bro. <laughs> Let me find another one. Power formation. Look at this shit. Bam. Let me go normal speed, man. Bam! Hit Rouse ain't even got to... His tight end doesn't even turn around. He not ready. <laughs> I'm in the backfield before he turns around. Let's go. Let's see. What I got some more of them. I hit him a couple times. I think I even got him on the interception. On the interception. Look at her. I missed it. I missed the angle on the dive. I could have got the sack, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because, look, it forces him to throw under pressure. So you can you can use this blitz to get some interceptions easy. I mean, bro, my setups are easy and fast, dude. Like, you don't need, like, 1,500,000 adjustments from the line. Like, three or four adjustments, bro, bam. Like I said, man, you know, my cash app's right there at the bottom, man. I appreciate, you know, anybody's throwing, show, throwing support, man. I get the little ring-a-ding, and I'll show y'all some of my, my monies. No problem, man. I also got PayPal and shit, too, so. I don't want to put, you know, my best stuff out there. Let's see. Cause if I put if I put that stuff out there, what shoot? Oh, like I, I'll show you that one. That one ain't ain't too bad. Um, you just got to know what defense to use it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that full three under wraps until someone send me something on Cash App or PayPal or whatever. Uh, but I'll show you the big nickel. It's actually pretty easy. Like I said, when I try to make stuff, man, I try to make it so easy a caveman can do it. You know, some people, man, they be asking y'all to do too much. You you be watching so many like so many videos on other people ebooks and shit. They have like fifteen hundred adjustments, like about five or six adjustments, and then you play against a quick hiker. You know you're gonna get fucked up. So my defense is kind of tailored to people that quick hike, and it can still be effective against people that do a lot of adjustments. You know so that you're already set. Uh. And then some of my stuff you can also do in, in nickel defenses as well. But like I said, I try not when I stream, I try not to show too much stuff. But I do have a lot of stuff that works. Um, unless I'm playing like a tournament game. And sometimes, you know, if y'all follow the channel, man, y'all might be lucky. Y'all might catch me, do, catch me use one here or there. I might, I might not use it all the time, 
but when I try to figure someone out that's adjusting to me, you know, I might pull out the ropes and, and, and open the playbook up and, and use one or two of them here or there. And y'all might see it and y'all be like, whoa, you know, be looking at it like the fucking Ruby in Aladdin's, <laughs> Aladdin's castle or something. It's like a new gym play. It's like, ah. Oh. All right, so I'm trying to look for like a little RPO. I don't think we got a lot of RPO bubble screens. I think you got one in fucking doubles, I think. It's the only one they have. They got doubles and then they got the single back ones. I don't think they got like the trips. All right, so I think I would run it against this formation. I would run it flip. The only thing you're gonna really do is you're gonna show blitz Usually I wasn't against the formation I ended up really wasn't really doing too much. You're gonna let him stay on the running back, you're just gonna use her the tight end. Okay. You use her the tight end or the back end receiver really. You're gonna keep you from getting blocked. Now sometimes you now if the if the RPO is killing you just shade outside. You can just get on the user. Show blitz. We can take uh take it to the monster. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Alright, so this one is being is like a stretch run in an RPO, so like it's not the one that I was going up against. But you kind of get the work here. Something like that. I'm just use her. Damn, they got Rinfro doing that. Uh, see, I don't fuck with practice mode, man. I be trying to show y'all shit in practice mode. It don't work. That's why. I just, <laughs> that's why I mainly just do my shit against live opponents, man. Most of the time. Cause, like I said, practice mode be on that other shit. Alright, let's do it like this. Sometimes you gotta mix people up. Should be able to man a line, bring them down to the line. Oh well. Yeah, this, this one's not the one. Like, people don't really use this one. The one that he was using was like the, the trips. And I don't think the Raiders playbook has one that does that. I don't think. I need to just double check. I mainly use it against trips. Trips and spread. <sighs> Trying to see what formations have it. See, it would be like trips tight end, but you would need like a bubble screen. You know, and the Raiders don't have one. They got the, the tight end screen, and you know, maybe I could try it against that. See how it trips? See where this guy lines up? You want him to line up close like that. Like they're, if he's lining up like over there by the numbers and shit, you know, or too far outside, it's not really gonna work too much for you. Um, you might do like a mana line, and then shade outside. You know, try to mix things up a little bit. I like the user the tight end though. Look at that ball. I was on that! EA, fuck you. But I still stopped it. But you can't really too, you know, too much show too much shit in practice mode because the CPU adjusts to it. Which sucks, you know, because there's other defenses I want to run. Like, I want to get more into this double A gap. I feel like there's a lot of potential with it. I just haven't played an opponent, man. That, I need to use it against you know if, if you can stop somebody in regs with one defense there's an old saying um if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> you know people in regs are retarded like dead ass
Yeah, they are retarded. If y'all give me one sec, man, I gotta go to the other room real quick. Um, gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat tonight. Um, I'm probably gonna play a couple more games, man. Doing all right, man. We're on a nice little win streak, and Mariota's working pretty nice for us, you know. I like the two quarterback system. You know, I, I run it a lot. But, you know, one week I might feel like Carr's the guy. Next week I might feel like Mariota's the guy. And hell, I might surprise y'all ass one day and, and I might have Nathan Peterman out there, you know. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely, you know, full of surprises. But I'm liking our, our strategy with, you know, making sure we keep giving Jacobs the ball. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You want to make sure your best players get the ball. Just don't spam the same play with them, you know? Uh, you can you can scheme out of a formation, but don't be repetitive. Like, if you watch the, the first two games I played, like, you know, of course I ran my dives and stuff, but, you know, I also ran sweet, power O. You know, I tried to run stretch, but I think the time ran out on me. I don't really run the stretch as much this year as opposed to, you know, last year it kind of being the thing. Um, I just don't feel like the stretch runs are as powerful, you know, as far as getting to the outside. Because, you know, a lot of people, when they get those stretch, man, the, the first thing they want to do is they want to hit that turbo. And I think on this year's Madden, they kind of took something that they did in the old Madden and brought it back. Like, uh, how many of y'all, what was it, Madden 19, Madden 18? Uh, you remember when you hit the turbo behind the, uh, the line of scrimmage, it would create block sheds. That's what's going on this year. So, uh, and it helps me a little bit knowing that, like, y'all, y'all seen a couple of plays that I scrambled with, uh, Mariota, you know, I, 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 I stay patient. I don't instant instantly try to take off. I, I, I see how the, the, the lanes open up and then I see which lane I want to go to. Cause sometimes it's not about scrambling outside of the pocket. You know, if you go back and watch some of those runs, sometimes I went through the right, right up the middle, you know, take what the defense gives you. You always want to do that, man. You don't want to sell yourself short but Ariota might be our guy again all right so we about to play another game I'm just, I'm just a little upset, you know, I took those down losses on the quick pass and the fucking EA access. I reckon it should be a lot better than what it is. A lot better. EA Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston, in the Space City at NRG Stadium. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the Las Vegas Raiders. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. Taken about seven yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So we gotta kind of stay, stay in format with what we were doing in the first two games. And see, see what he gives us in this first so drive. First and kind of 10 now down inside the first 20. thing I see is that the sweep's going to be wide open. we got too many people in the box. 
First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. Oh, he's got a little Fall. daylight. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. A big play there on the first See, that's the beauty the about, you know, having a scheme. Now he's going to cover two scores over here. Yeah, he switched it and he cut it through. Could be like a blitz, his own blitz of some sort. All right, we're, we're going to change some shit up. We're going to block over here. To throw is Mariota. You don't want to take him. I'll throw it to him. I ain't scared to throw it to the fullback now. Let the big man get some, get some touches. See, he thinks he's slick. And I'm back to cover three. He brought him down to the box. Mariota on first down. He's gonna keep gonna dropping everybody back, bro. Line. I got the big man right here. Give him seven on the play, and I will take it all day, down. man, if you give it to me. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. What we want to do is we want to force this guy to come down. We want to get him out of that cover three. As methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they come out with purpose. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Because we might actually try something here. I got five people over there. I really don't have enough people blocking it, so... We'll just go wide trail and just go to pull back in the flat. Throwing Mariota. He's got a man. It's you gonna keep letting that big man get the ball, bro. A few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Yeah, yeah, How is he going to do doing damage? 15 yards. First and goal from the three. On the ground, this is Jalen Richard. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Bradley Roby on the tackle. Right, so I'm actually going to run the stretch now. They're still knocking on the doorstep. No, I don't run it a lot. But usually in situations so. like this, it's, it's gold. Say, son, if you could darn near lay yeah, down near the end zone and get in, give me my best power. Right. Usually when they're in that baseline look, right now. I want to motion him out. Jacobs. Yeah, he finally getting blocked over there. Get the yeah, worry too much, man. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Don't yeah, worry too much. Things. All we gotta do right here, man line. The only person we got an idea is the safety. Too much, bro. We'll try to run this one in. And he's in. Can't stop. I picked up all the blocks, bro. One thing about that 3-4 eyes, man, it's not going to stop these under center formations that I use. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the it's bulk You're going to have to get out of it. You cannot stay in the fight. The yeah, that's like me point. when I feel and like one of my defenses, like, like if I'm running my 4-3 over and someone just has a formation and I can't get no penetration. But you know, I got to get out of it. You know, I might go flip it to 4-3 under or something like that. I need new alignment. You know, and 3-4 does not have a lot of favorable alignment for the offensive sets that I use. You know, it's going to give me, you know, running holes to kind of punch in there for three or four easy yards. You know, you're not going to have a solid run defense out of it, especially if you don't have the personnel. Watson will bring up the Texans here so look, first. I, and I can come in yard line. in this and against his dude close. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. I could have got over it. Hell no. Why would I run a Packers line. defense? My team is a four down yardage on the first That's dumb. That's dumb. The drive given 14. And for David Johnson, he was pretty good in his debut, although it was a week one loss. But 
109 yards from scrimmage, including a 19-yard touchdown run. So a good start to the season for David Johnson in a new uniform. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Coming up on second and seven. You have to dive second. A shotgun snap for Watson. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. Oh, why are my guys diving at the air? Okay. Hold up. Touchdown, Houston. Randall Cobb. 52 need yards. Find, there needs to be that something to stop. Extra point away that. From tying this football game. I might have to put their tackling on some server. Keep them from doing the dive tackles. Alright, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in Big Sky Country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase it. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Alright, same thing, man. Just kind of use your running backs. Take what he gives you, bro. You want to keep giving me that flat with the fucking fullback? I'm going to take it. You know, he ain't got to be the most flashiest player on the team, man. Well, as long as he gets in there and gets the job done, it happens. Okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. This is where I, I turn this. Second down and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 30-yard line. Mariota. Oh, come on, bro. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. All right, Mariota. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult that, it is man. to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. They head to the line facing a third and seven following yeah, the incompletion on second down. We're gonna take. We're gonna take the drag. Fuck it. Throwing is oh, that's the guy. The throw there gonna be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. A the open opening drive touchdown. That's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving Rugs the ball back the to the offense. What Mariota does. I think the ball's out. Oh, come on, he out of bounds, man. And they're gonna come up empty here on fourth down. And the aggressive know about play that simply does not yeah. work out. You're on your own side of the field here, punt it, right? Yeah, I would agree with that. There's a time for analytics and a time for being aggressive, but not with this field position. There's also a time for good old football 101 sets. <laughs> yeah. Punt it away. Let your defense take over with better field position. Carl Nassim there on the tackle. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers and freed up the D linemen to make the play. Oh, come on now. I'm <laughs> like right on it. Right, now let me react. 19 yards. I just pushed my guy behind him before he reacted. Like, come on, I was on it before that. Whoo! There we go. Where did that gun split? Just hit Mario. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. 
To throw on second is Watson. Mm, good throw. And got his man. It's caught. Two turn in away from the good throw. Randall Cobb. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Texans have taken the lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. At their own 24-yard line. Kind of mix it up a little bit. See if we can make him change. What the he's Raider doing. offense set to get this drive started. That seven nothing lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind. Too tight end package. That way we can down audible down. And so what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get and back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied He's up. Run this half back we get the two minute mark of the second quarter. Pause. No, I did not say that. Time rolls around. Nice. Jonathan Coachman will have right all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Four yards the pick up. Keep first running down. this. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open I really the want that, go play that action, cover three here, man. I really deep. want it. But in this situation, get it to it. your back. Let I'm it pick up the first down. Keep the sticks moving. Give me that quick play. It's a flat. A first down oh, I hate this scenario. Lag spike. Williams out of the backfield. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. They call it a gain of 19 and it moves the chains. Mariota now to throw on first down. Got Doc. his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. Back to back receptions for him and it's another first down. Cover three. On first and ten, here's Mariota. Bad throw. Mm. In a heavy traffic and Even though there was no pressure either, I, I hate that sometimes. Justin Reed, and the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Well under pressure banner for no reason. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any right, zone. So we're going to go with the, and this guy. break on the football when it's thrown and pick it off, just as we saw there. Pretty solid run here on first half. down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears yeah, to be a few nice. inches Makes short. Safety. Good tackle made by Jonathan Abram. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and... And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. And we're going to get a timeout. With two Why are you going to call a timeout, bro? You're quarter. not going to throw a one-play touchdown against me, bro. It, it's not happening. Why? You should have just ran the clock off. So I'm just going to come out in this and play man under. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. The final shot before the break. Watson. He's letting it fly for Cooks. The fight for the football and it's Arnett, intercepted. Baby. It's David Arnett picking it off. <laughs> hey, I tried, man. <laughs> I like Demon Arnett, man. I just wish he was a little faster. But shit, he playing nice as my number one corner. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two you know, I ain't no stranger to using aside. slow corners at, at, you know, at my starting corner okay, position. Coach, Keep in mind, I use an 86 speed Daryl Worley to lock and down Tyree Hill. Half. So it's the it can be done. And they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. Take it at that the way I can put my faster game. guys on everybody else. And able to take it past the 20. But some people, man, they can the use, you know, those speed receivers as decoys. So line. the point of me just having, you know, my best corner on him if he's going to burn him anyway. 
Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because... Got him. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Raekwon McMillan gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Here's Watson. He's letting this one go for. It got his man complete. Come on, guy. Y'all gotta pay attention, man. Stop tripping each other up. Will Fuller, 77 yards. That's something that definitely needs to be looked at, man. Guys, like what? How much awareness do you need to not run into somebody? Oh, I don't. I don't play football anymore, man, and I got more awareness not to run into somebody that just missed a tackle. Come on, guys. He said at times, he absolutely I'm not in football shape anymore. And he heats it downfield. Will Fuller's going to outrun any coverage you put yeah, out there. Yeah, he, he picked me up that time. I should have just dropped back. I should have known better because he was going through the motions. Usually when they go through the check down motions, I don't send them. It's really just more for people the to pass. Set to get this drive started. They All right, so offense, first time to touch the ball we're going to go with our cover three, three here. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams yeah, just man, that shouldn't have been a bullet pass, bro. Like, come on now. And sometimes they throw in that big uh, here we go. Here we go. Get after them early and try and create a big play. Slow it down. Slow it down. See what they have up their sleeve. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Mariota. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. A three well, offensively, that's a mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But yeah, linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And it's going to be incomplete. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And out. It's fourth down. See Madden got their pick and chooses on today. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. Oh, I see something I might try later. They're going to try and throw. And this is incomplete. Eric Murray that time there to knock it away. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the Hello. other way. Hello. They'll try to get yeah. the offense going with Johnson. Uh, uh, he's he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Corey, that's that's a really nice play. Be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front. Great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run no, free okay. and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. And he'll take this one in for a Texas he got touchdown. Open now, not too long, bro. It's Deshaun Watson with a touchdown pass to Brandon Cooks. And the Texans will extend their lead. He knocks it through. It's 28 7. Makes the score Texans 28. Yeah, I wish you luck. You say bye. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it oh. away. You're saying you need, you're about to go and shit. Fielded near the back of the end zone. 
catch. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 24 yard line. Oh, okay. The Raider offense set to get this drive yeah, started. It. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, yeah, so yeah, they've yeah, got to recover yeah. here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. Caused it. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. Oh, and the Texans man. scoop it. And they will bring this one no, no. back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. They give some kudos to the defensive because I, I think if they bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points. For <laughs> so nice man, come on now. To the defense. <laughs> it is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He no. dialed things up. And I, boy, hey, I, I had to do that. Well, you like like the fucking. The defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you be, do, do I ever? No, you be taking, taking too long to respond sometimes. And beyond Whatever. the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Yard line. All right. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Yeah. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start <laughs> over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. I like, you I like crazy you sometimes. So you don't repeat it, but you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. Three yards the game there, second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. <laughs> Throwing now is Carr. And he slings one that's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Mm, I, 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 I let you know. Completion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, I, don't, I told you to I ain't got it now. They have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. <laughs> Throw it to the guys that maybe can take I a shot. I ain't got it now. And turn it into a long game. Or make people miss downfield. Uh -huh. They've got to have points. Got and it. the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. He'll have a first down past the 40. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they've no, been doing really good got, you know, If I ain't got nice it, I ain't got it. Like, you can't be mad. First down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. No. Now, car again. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Yeah, I lost this game. It's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. A throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 19. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. This will be caught. I could have been doing this the whole game. He's just sending all his linebackers in his gaps. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. At the 12-yard line. Yeah, the the whole game. Line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. With first down Raiders, car to Waller. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot. Not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy. Yeah. And, Boom. and he's got Renfro in the yeah, end zone. A bunch touchdown Raiders. Especially when I know exactly where my opponents are doing. And the Raiders get a score closer. Well, that's about as quick a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called But, you know, every dog got his day to capitalize on it. You're not going to be undefeated in regs. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? But, you can always repeat, you know, you want to make sure you're not just getting blown out the fucking water. You're not going to go in there and play every down. 
Cause you know sometimes you can't, you know, you can't make something happen of it. You know, you can fuck around and score 40 points in the fourth quarter. I've done it before. You know, but we really just gotta make some stops, like real fast stops. And if he's running the ball, I probably won't be able to just that. That's the misfortune that I'm getting from this. So we're gonna do. I gotta get the inside gap. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. All of a sudden, they have quite a bit of breathing room. This was a one-score game, but touchdowns on their last two drives, and now comfort is here, so to speak. <laughs> it certainly is for them. Now, I've been in this situation before on the flip side of this, and all that's going on there is a little bit of finger Good point. Day. Hey, what's going on? How can we stop them? Be mad. So we can be mad. To try and stop this moment. Oh, they're going to be ball hawking because they need a turnover on that other side. You need to hurry up and give you that enforcer ability, bro. I feel like, man, if they give me like one or two superstar abilities on my defense, man, that'd be game changing. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. From the gun, here's Watson. Get him! Get him! Uh uh! Hey, that's a flag! Uh uh! Come on now! Come on now! That's a bad thing. You can't do that. Modest on defense because you know they're gonna stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop Fucking any type bullshit. of running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. Got him. Looking for Cooks and it's intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it, and they are gonna set up shop at the 32-yard line. So I got fine. So they get the takeaway, but that's just blitzes. step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still three-score game though, fourth quarter. Following the interception here, Mariota. He'll let this go deep for a run. That's caught inside the 20. Uh oh And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry Ruggs. 68 yards. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that uh -oh. deficit. Uh-oh. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three score lead. Now it's down to two, but three score lead here late that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. And it's caught. I swear to God, you come back and, and don't get the two and be mad at you. Why don't play it as is, bro? That's a two, two possession game now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one Two away. possession game, just like that. So it's not over. DeAndre Carter returning it. Somebody give me a hit stick, man. Out is this drive will start at the 25 yard line. At their own 25 yard line. They should be aggressive, baby. Start mixing up. Start mixing them up. Offense already at the line, set to get going. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Nicholas Morrow on the And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Second and six at the 29-yard line. Again, it's Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And oh, this a tackle, down man, down like fuck. A gain there of 21 yards. First and Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. From the 50, it's Watson. Got him. That's the second one. Maybe the turning point they need. Lamarcus Joyner with one more, pick. baby. Still got the two minute warning and our three timeouts. What we work well, with. Don't change that channel just yet. This one go may have gotten teams. a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put yeah, down the like, why? This looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to we seal go for the two deal. 31 is a four point so, game. Get it again, score a touchdown, boom, three point game. Here we go now 
you know, either way, you know, it's still a little touch to make a difference, but. They'll try to run it with Jenkins. Man. And he is not gonna get nice to the goal line. It's all good, man. Next touchdown, bro. We up. On the two point conversion. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot. At I like playing from behind, man. It's like I'm more focused. You know? And this will not be fielded. It's a touchback. I, I never count myself out, usually, unless, you know, I, I when I say it's over, it's over. But I try not. Try not to give, you know. The Texans much. offense ready to go here for their next drive. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll, take a timeout. we'll see how aggressive they choose to be. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. They go to Johnson again. Go down. And he'll get about four across the third. Oh, time out here, man. It's a risk. And but his defense here going to burn their second timeout. It's a reward, too. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll flex. get when the clock stops at the two minute warning. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Oh, I got sucked out. Oh, fourth down. And he will not get there. They stop him short right around the third Man, I got sucked into a fucking animation, bro. Like, come on. Y'all see this shit? He's like, he lagged me, da lagged me back. Hey, bro, we got to get in the backfield, man. We got to get in the backfield. Something could happen. Something could go awry. You could get the ball back. I wouldn't let it run. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one score game. This is it. I'm going to run commit, bro. I'm gonna run commit. I don't I just don't see him passing in this situation. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. With the run commit, let's fucking go! Johnson denied here on the fourth down run. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. I'm going to try this, man. I hope it don't mess up. Well, now they'll try the end around. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That was well coached and even better executed because you saw him looking for the cutback lane, never materialized, and had excellent pursuit to stack that play up. Quick throw caught out wide by Renfro. And he's able to get it down to the 25 yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. He doesn't adjust. We're going to take that shot again. That's out to the left and complete. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That'll make it fourth down. After See, the beauty about this is we got jet sweeps. Try the jet sweep. Look at Renfro go. He's staying down. We got that one timeout going ten. for us. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On first down, it's Jacobs. And he is in as they have tied it late yeah. here in the final minute. Didn't want to score. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point. And oh, he wasted a timeout. Let's go. Oh, we'll we'll take it. it. And there's something that you've pointed out. In All right, we're gonna have to short kick it. Okay, the excitement's going on. I have to keep it in bounds. 
who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do. A very important yeah, look at that, bro. And that is gonna put quick kick it, bro. We're going to try to eat some time off this clock. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. An incredibly short kick fielded right there. Oh, my God. There. Let him score. Let him score. Let him score. Be a dumbass score. Thank and you. he's going to take it Jesus. all the way into the end zone. See, he wasn't smart by doing that. And you got me what 30 seconds for the ball. Wow, I know it's a never say never situation. You gotta go for two. To me, that looks like that's the one that's gonna finish him off. Oh, so he six. puts him in front here late, but that you gotta rally your kick team, don't you? And say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Good D, good D, good D. I love that cover six. All right, so sidelines. I got 30 seconds, one timeout, and the sidelines. I gotta make this shit work. Might use the outlines. Possibility he stays in the same defense, and he gives us the, the one play. And up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25. I make a game of it, man. But, you know, at the end of the day. It really depends where his corner's lined up if I make this throw or not. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat yes, relaxed. Yeah. And I know that's counterintuitive right. because this is a pressure situation. Yeah. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Las Vegas. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Might be able to squeeze it for info. Now Mariota. And a slant hold in by Ruggs. Now the Raiders gonna burn their third and final timeout. As they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. At the 48 yard line. I'm gonna have to throw this to uh Williams. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Game over, bitch. Strike through you out of there. Tyrell Williams with time running out. And once again, the Raiders are back out in front. Fourth quarter comeback. Let's fucking go. Tonight, the home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team. And then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? No, you great need this for real, bro. And they'll try a little razzle dazzle. You need that, bro. Because right all I got to do is just play faces. fucking short kick this shit to the, the fullback, take three the seconds off the clock. Here's Carter now on the return. And he's All right, seven seconds of play. Two, two bombs if I allow it. We're not going to allow it. Got a pass rushers on. Got to quarters. Houston's offense already at the line set to get going. So you're right there, but obviously Back the clock the is not your Let's friend. Go. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. Four, three, one, to get yourself in position two, for the one, game over, baby. Way to fucking close the game out. Intercepted. It's Never count me out, baby. Never count me out. Today's final score, this dumbass. Well, we were on 
I let him score the touchdown. I was like, let him score. <laughs> Give me time with the ball. That's all I be wanting, man. He should have fucking slid, bro. That was him being dumb. That was his biggest mistake, bro. When he had that, that kickoff return, he should have fucking took, took it to the ground. And they came up with the interception and he gave me a chance. Look, I told you. Didn't I just sit there and say I would score about 40 points in the fourth quarter before that shit happened? <laughs> you don't believe me. Rewind that shit back. <laughs> so that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis. Because I know I, saw, I fucking said that shit. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Look at there, bro. So long Beat them in all them categories. Yeah, I'd be shaking my head too, bro. <laughs> I give up a lead like that. This motherfucker was up 35-7. <laughs> oh, man, bro. 35-7. Uh Hey, what what do y'all think about that, man? <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> he fucking had a route in the third quarter. The second quarter and the third quarter, bro, he just had his way with <laughs> Oh, man. That's one for the books right there, guys. <laughs> Give me the ball. That's all I want, bro. I think we did it. We ended up doing it with fucking um, Derek Carr. See, sometimes, man, if Mariota can't get it done, you put your other quarterback in there, man. Your two-quarterback system. And Derek Carr went fucking perfect. Let's go. Two-quarterback system, man. We didn't give up on Jacobs, man. We still let him eat. Got Renfro the ball. Boy, 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 man. When you have two receivers hit over 100, man, great things happen. See, I used him in the first quarter. He didn't. I should have gave him the ball more, man. He was t he was killing him in the flats. Then he started playing hard flats, so I guess that's probably why I stopped hitting him. Hmm. And when you keep his number, his best receiver to one catch, that's usually a good thing, man. You got Will Fuller one catch, and I could have stopped that too. Uh, you know, I went for that blitz. Yeah, man, I've been playing like this with him for years, bro. Like before we even had anybody. Back there when we traded Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper away and then just released free uh, Bruce Irvin the fucking free agency. I ain't have shit. I had to learn how to get pressure with the secondary, man. And I started making some turbo blitzes, you know. I was like, fuck it. You take my pass rushers away. I got to improvise. I got to find something else to work, you know. I started coming out with cornerback blitzes, safety blitzes, linebacker blitzes. You know, I, I have to find new things to open up, you know, what I can do. You know, gotta improvise. You know, you can't sit there and just be like, you know, oh, I ain't got nobody. I'm gonna go play with a team that got superstar abilities. Nah, bro. Just wait until I do get superstar abilities. You know, shit's gonna be crazy. Cause they fuck around, and just give me one. I already know it's lights out, man. You get Abrams. How would I rate the balance in the running game? I'm going to let y'all answer this question for me, man. I mean, what do, what do y'all think? Do it, do it, Does it feel balanced on both sides? Because it, you know, I was able to stop the run when I run committed. You know, when I called it, I was like, okay, I'm going to run commit. He's in a tight formation. I'm going to take my chance. Now, granted, I feel like his balance because you can stop it but at the same time you know someone's gonna find a busted play and they're gonna spam it 
you know but then again you can't really test it i'm gonna say it's i'm just gonna dismiss it i'm gonna let someone else answer that because you can't really speak on that because you know you play against somebody and they might be just playing a stupid defense the whole game you know and you know what they're in you play the right play the right card you know like when I got him when he, he was playing out that man coverage and I got him with the sweep run and I called it on the first play of the game for that 43 yard run you know and it's like hey I'm about to hit him with a sweep he pinching his line in <laughs> next thing you know I'm gone you know so um I'm going to take a breather for a minute, man. Guys, I'm going to give me something to eat, whatnot, man. If you're new to the channel, man, make sure you hit the subscription and turn your notifications on because, you know, when I go live, you never know what I might end up doing. You know, I might make a video about one thing and then end up, you know, turning something else on, you know. So, like I said at the beginning of this video, I think I, after that first game, you know I, I seen some adjustments that i could do with my formation subs so i will be putting out a new video for 21 for the formation subs and i will explain it a little bit better than what i did last year i think last year i got a lot of views on that video but we're going to try to shoot for 50,000 this year okay uh try to get the the good content and the good tips out for the you know the people that play madden i know the state of the game isn't in the best position right now you know, there's a lot of stuff that they definitely need to clean up. And it's really disappointing being that they were given an extra month to have the game. Whereas last last year on 20, you know, we got the game like a month early, you know. So for them to have that extra month to clean the game up and polish it, you know, even with a beta test, you know, for them to release the game and it have the bugs that it has is a little disappointing, you know granted that they're playing on the same engine you know if you're playing on the same engine you know you're basically moving the, the format of the game of last year put it on the new new year's disc and then all you really got to do is tweak you know what you need to upgrade to it you know it's not going to cost you a lot a lot in the budget aspect so i don't know maybe maybe they clean some stuff up man maybe people reached out to them with the trending you know maybe they do something man we're we're waiting for the first true title update of the game to really take effect you know and the only way that that's gonna happen is y'all guys gotta gotta submit your feedback okay y'all gotta sit out there and be like hey you know check this out you know such and such with a quick pass or whatever you know it's a bug it needs to be addressed you know make sure you you submit the feedback in so when they put the title update out you know they'll try to fix it you know you, you don't want to keep sitting there and just, just bashing the guys, you know. I do enjoy playing Madden, okay. You don't want you don't want this shit to have the NCAA treatment, all right, where they just stop making the game, you know. Like, again, like I said, I like playing Madden. I know it's, you know, glitchy sometimes, bro, but when when the football season's over, man, there's no other football but this game you know and like i said i enjoy playing it you know like I, I i hope they do clean up some stuff i do one day i do hope that the game is kind of almost flawless you know maybe the ps5 version you know going forward you know they make some enhancements or whatnot but you know in the years past not so much you know it's like the newer version of the game on the next gen usually doesn't you know harness all the features that the current gen has i'm hoping that it's not like that but only time will tell like i said man i will be back in you know give me a little couple hours or so man let me eat and uh definitely man make sure make sure you turn your notifications on because i'm gonna be showing y'all some good stuff this year all right peace